art friends, how are you? Today we are going to talk about space. Not outer space, but space in art. We are going to talk about foreground, middle ground, and background. We're gonna learn how we can take a flat piece of paper and make the illusion of depth. We are going to use foreground, middle ground, and background by creating something big in the front, small in the back, and medium for the middle. So let's take my little art friends here. I'm going to show you Frida. Hi Frida. This is Frida Kahlo. She's an artist. If I bring Frida way up in the front, she's really big. She's in the foreground. She's the biggest. If I have Pablo Picasso, hi Pablo, in the back, he gets smaller, even though these guys are the same size. We can give the illusion of space and depth in our artwork by showing one is bigger in the foreground and showing that something is smaller in the background. Okay, Pablo, hang out for just a minute. I also want to talk about the middle ground. Here comes Bob Ross. Now when we have something in the middle, he's not too big and not too small, right? So Frida is real big because she's in the front. Bob Ross is just chilling. He's just medium. He's in the middle. And then Pablo Picasso is a little bit smaller because he's in the back. So this is what we're going to do today. We are going to create a piece of artwork that shows the illusion of space. Okay, let's get started by praying. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for these beautiful children. I'm so grateful that we can continue to do artwork online and I'm thankful for technology. Lord, we are grateful to be with our families during this time. I pray that you keep everyone safe and that you remind us that there's always good, that if we look to you, that we can always be grateful. It's in your name we pray. Okay, friends, let's get started. Today, we are going to create a landscape and a seascape. You'll need paper, scissors, glue, and colored pencils. We're going to start out with our paper in landscape. I'm going to fold it over once, pressing down on that seam, and the open part I'm going to fold back to the fold. I'm going to flip it over and take that open part and fold it back to the fold. Now I'm going to open it up and it's going to look like an accordion. With your pencil, mark a dot on the left-hand side of your paper, way up high, and then again on the right side of your paper, a little bit lower. Now we're gonna make a wavy line connecting the two. We're gonna take our scissors and we're going to cut, making sure we are very careful. When you are cutting this line, you're actually making two different projects, which is why I ended up making a landscape and a seascape. Once you're done cutting your paper, you'll take it back and fold it back together. So now I've made a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. I'm going to take my Sharpie marker and now I'm going to make waves. I'm making waves on the front part of my paper. So I'm just following the same shape that I made with my scissors. And why I'm doing this is it's going to help me remember what part I color. So I keep on adding my wavy lines and I keep on folding it back to make sure I'm drawing my wavy lines on the right sides of the paper. Now I'm ready to color. I'm going to use my colored pencils for this part. And I thought of the ocean when I was coloring this. And when the water is near the sand or when it's shallow, to me it's lighter. And then as it goes back into the background or into the distance, it gets darker. 
So what I did is I colored my waves lighter in the foreground, a little bit darker in the middle ground, and finally darkest in the background. I'm going to speed this part up. You'll notice that I'm only coloring on the parts where I drew the waves. I'm opening and I'm closing my paper and I'm making sure that I'm coloring only where I need to color. After I'm done coloring, I'm going to grab another piece of white paper. I'm going to glue my artwork onto this white piece of paper. I'm doing this so that I can create a sky. So I'm going to take my glue, I'm going to draw out a glue line on the back part of my paper, glue it onto my new white piece of paper, and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off carefully the white piece. Now I have a sky. I'm going to color my sky whatever color I want to. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some sailboats. I'm drawing a small, medium, and a larger sailboat. I'm doing that by drawing smiley faces and then I'm connecting them. Then I'm drawing triangles on the sides for the sails. Now I chose sailboats. That doesn't mean you have to do sailboats. You could do fish. You could draw a small fish, a medium sized fish, and a large fish. Just remember whenever you color them and cut them out, the small fish goes in the background. The medium fish goes in the middle ground, and the large fish goes in the foreground. Just like our video when I showed you Frida was way in the front. Okay, so I'm going to start to cut out and color my sailboats. Oh, you know, another option could be a person swimming. That would be fun. You could draw a person way in the back. It would be really small, one way floating in the middle of the ocean, and then the person way up in front or in the foreground is going to be the largest. You could also maybe do a shark fin. Maybe a shark fin is floating in the ocean and way in the background, it's small. But if the shark is in the front, then he's huge. Okay, so I'm going to cut out my designs, I chose to do sailboats. Remember, you can choose whatever you want to. And then I'm going to make sure that I put them in the right spots on my paper. Foreground is in the front and it's the biggest. I'm going to take my scissors, I'm sorry, I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to glue down all of my sailboats. First, I forgot to color my sky, so I'm going to stop and I'm going to color my sky before I glue on my sailboats. It's a nice sunny day for my sailboats to be sailing in the ocean, so I'm going to color it all yellow. You can decide um, what you want to color on yours. Maybe you have a cloudy day or maybe it's a rainy day. I don't know. Okay, I'm gluing down my sailboat in the background. Here's my sailboat in the middle ground. I'm gonna tuck him in a wave. And then my biggest sailboat goes in the foreground because he's the biggest. And there we go. I can't wait to see yours, friends. Oh, one more thing. Remember when we were cutting out our paper and I said, that you can do this again because you'll be left over with another accordion style uh, 
foreground, middle ground, and background paper. So that's exactly what I did here. I was inspired by Dr. Seuss and I decided to make a landscape instead of a seascape. And so what I did is I colored my designs green and I made all kinds of lines for different, for my different um, landscapes. And then I made truffle trees. After I made my truffle trees, I cut them out and I put them um, where they belong in my landscape. So now I have a small one that goes in the back, a medium truffle tree that goes in the middle, and then my largest truffle tree will go in the foreground. Now you don't have to do two pieces of artwork. I just thought that they were so fun and I wanted to try um, to do a different one. And I had already had a piece of paper cut out. I hope you guys have fun creating your artwork that features foreground, middle ground, and background. Can't wait to see yours.